first of all, Vic Mensa, you're named after an Italian soup that has balls in it. How are you not going to have any? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. Yeah, this big mental guy, man. I just don't get him. Um, he's he's in the news again, and it seems like he's constantly every time every time I hear Vic Mensa's name, it's it's some BS attached to it. It's never yo Vic Mensa drops a fire ass track. What's his actual job? Dropping fire ass tracks. I mean, I'm never saying that he, I'm not saying that he's never done this. I'm just saying this is never the reason why I hear his name. So now he's in the news again, right? And basically, first of all, I never hear Vic Mintz's name if he's not cloud chasing. Like, if you're supposed to be an artist, that is bad. That's not good. I'm gonna give you a quick example. 6 9 I hear that nigga's always cloud chasing. 6 9 a troll. Big ass troll, right? So, I hear him doing troll shit, chasing clout, right? But then I also hear that his song does really well. Even though I might, whether I like it or not isn't important here. So, anybody that's going to go in the comment section and start trying to drop, you know, fucked up comments at me because I don't like the same things you like, what the hell? Six nine sales. His freaking videos. I mean, what? I don't listen to him, but other people do. So please stay out of the comment section talking about six nine's really good. I'm not talking about whether six nine makes good music or not right now. That's not even what this video is about, okay, douchebags. So this is the thing that kills me. Vic Mensa, right? He's always cloud chasing. It's crazy. He did the same thing when he went on freaking um trying to push his own album. He he turned his promotional tour for his album into a DJ Academics hate fest. It was crazy. So now, you know, he's never one to miss a beat. Just I don't know. I don't understand this guy. But he's never one to his miss a beat. So now this is the crap he's on. Saying is, I'm on a plane. I'm leaving South Korea. You hear my voice, I've been attacked for like three days. Um, no, nah, all I'm saying is, who want to fight me, though? Alright, so, for everybody that don't know, Vic Mensa decided to go on the BET Freestyle Cypher? Yeah, that thing. He decided to go on that thing and throw some shade at XXXTentacion. See, now I'm going to tell you what kills me. I'm about to tell you why. Everybody that's constantly talking about well, XXX Tentacion or Temptation, I don't know. Anyway, so he did this and he did that. So why are people trying to hold him up like he's a saint? I don't, I can't speak for other people, but I'm not trying to hold XXX Tentacion up like he's a saint. I'm saying the man's passed away. What in the hell are you doing trying to start rap beef with someone who's passed away? That doesn't make sense. That's that's like somebody dropping a Hitler diss track. I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to say XXX Tentacion and Hitler's in the same group. I'm just saying Hitler's name because that's somebody that we could universally agree is a motherfucking scum bucket. So we could universally agree that Hitler's a scum bucket. And the majority of people on the planet with common sense don't like Hitler. You understand what I'm saying? And it still doesn't make sense to drop a Hitler diss track. Although if somebody did drop a Hitler diss track, that shit might do good numbers, not for nothing. That shit might, <laughs> that shit might do good numbers. Anyway, the point is being is this: XXX Tentacion has passed away. What are you doing trying to have a rap beef with someone who can't even drop a reply track? Only Vic Mensa, yo. Only Vic Mensa. So this is what the beef is. This is what my problem is with the dude. I don't really care for him, and um. Then he, then I, I think he's trying to like ask people to fight him 
that uh, I don't know his friends with X. Now he wants X's friends to, or the people who's upset that he's done this. He's he's he's, he's doubling down. I don't even understand this. Look, man, this guy doesn't want a career. I don't know what's going on with him. He doesn't want a career. He doesn't care about a career. Doing stuff that could further his career and actually improve himself. He doesn't care for these things. I don't know. Maybe he's making a lot of money overseas. He said he's coming from South Korea or some shit. Hope he's not pulling the bow wow. Um, so I, I have no idea about this guy. I mean, I have zero idea about him. Just to be just to be honest. None of this makes any sense. He's just clout chasing to be clout chasing. Um, at this point, I think DJ Act might give him them hands. At this point, I think because he was like, yo, we, I'm, I'm going to slap you. Nigga, okay, anybody, and I'm not trying to talk trash, but anybody that stands in front of somebody and say, I'll punch you in the face or I'll slap you in the face, and you're not doing it? None of this is real nigga shit. Just so we could be clear. Y'all, everybody out here, go find a real nigga. Right? <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is because that's taking the assumption that everybody that's listening, that no one that's listening to this cot right now is actually a real nigga. Anyway, so everybody who isn't a real nigga, go find somebody who is one and ask them, yo, would you just stand around talking about how you're going to slap somebody in the face and not do it? I'm also assuming that that's how their voice is going to sound. Me, the guy that sounds like this. So, um... And I'm, I'm pretty sure, um, a, if not an overwhelmingly 100% of them is going to be like, yo, man, like, what the hell? You mean I'm going to say that I'm going to slap somebody in the face that's sitting right there or standing right there that I'm not going to do it? What kind of shit is that? I'm trying to tell you, man. Motherfuckers is just clout chasing. That's a clout chasing line. Somebody saying they're going to hit you in the face. Somebody saying that they're going to attack you. You standing right there. They not doing nothing. All that is clout chasing. Please, people, stop falling for the shenanigans. Anyway, I don't know. Let me know what y'all guys think about this Vic Mensa dude. I don't care for him. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't care for him. I think that almost everything that Vic Mensa does is the BS. All of it is just the BS. Seriously. How do you start a rap beef with a dude that's passed away? Like, who the hell raised you? Like, seriously, I know some people who are messed up individuals, and, like, the one thing they don't do is talk about the dead. <laughs> seriously, I'm not even joking, yo. Like, the one thing they don't do. Like, they don't talk about the dead, and they don't hurt children. And they're, like, the worst people. Like, the worst people. Seriously. They don't talk about the dead. They don't hurt children. You can't script this shit. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. So, real quick, last thing I want to get on real quick. Okay, so he's over in Europe. He hasn't come back yet. But as far as we know, he hasn't come, come back, back yet. He yet. hasn't. He hasn't. Punches back, but not him. He hasn't. That's what I want to know. So, why did? Okay. So, everybody don't know what me and you have been talking about. So, explain the whole punch situation. Punch is a smart man. Punch, punch works for thisis50.com. That means he's, he's down. With, he's somewhat. He's down with Fifty Cent. We may not call him a genius rapper, but he's down with that. That interview. He's down with that umbrella. Okay. He works for that. Um, Punch found the lane, like he said, he found, he found his way. He found that these guys don't know nobody. Punch been in the music game for a lot of years, he fucked with 50, he's met many promoters, he's met many people. And he's seen the opportunity as, if I could put money in this man's pocket, 
maybe I could get some money out this nigga. Because remember, everybody else is not do putting money in 6 ix 9 pocket. They're just guaranteeing him good videos, 100 bloods, and yo, we go to the club, we bloody. They're not, they're not, they're, they're not making no connections in which Punch was able to make connections. So now you got 6 9 who probably made 200,000, the most he probably ever seen out of all this. All he's all he been doing, 200,000. Cause believe me, if he signed a record deal for $3,400, what the fuck do you think he's getting off these YouTube views from the 